Alright guys, this is uh, Nick here, and uh, there's a user here on Avsim uh, who's wondering about how to do a single engine taxi. Uh, for some reason, I guess he can't get it to actually move. Uh, so here we go. Uh, first things, we will look up here and see that uh, I have my chocks in place and GPU ready to rock. So I'm going to go ahead and knock my battery on and go ahead and uh, ground power assist I'll turn my fuel pump left engine let's go ahead and start that bad boy up shut this up Off default uh, ATC in the back on there. So that looks like it's uh, pretty much stable. I'm going to go ahead and switch the generator on. I'm going to hop on the ramp manager, goes my chocks. GPU is gone. Uh, I have uh, both reversers. Uh, throttle position she set here, so I'm going to, it's going to do both at one time, but need to remove the start locks, so there's that, as you saw, EGT spike, obviously we're not going to get the call out that start locks are removed, because both are not uh, removed, and normally I run FS2 crew anyway, so it is what it is, uh, parking brake is off, and now, uh, just apply power. Mazda Mazda Center, 884, visit 15,700, descending 14,000. 884, Mazda Mazda Center, roger, altimeter 2970. Just really gotta watch your EGT, cause, uh, it takes a bit more power to get going here. Uh, but you're only running on one engine, it takes a little bit longer for everything to uh, to get going. Not quite as nice as having both and, you know, taxing around it next to no power. But, uh, you know, just pop the runner and ground steer it all you want. So that is my tutorial on how to uh, start the plane and taxi on one engine. Obviously, I didn't switch any of the avionics or anything off, but... Uh, you know, normal procedure would follow uh, or after engine start checklist, and your taxi check, and you know, go from there. So, let's go ahead and turn that off. That should be feathered out here and on the start lock, and bam! On the start lock, we're good to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.